Got a little tech video for you today. Uh, we're working on a fuel sending unit for a 1990 Nissan 300ZX two-seater. Um, it's important that it's a two-seater because two-seater 300ZXs have uh, what's commonly referred to as a saddle tank for the fuel tank. So the fuel tank itself is ahead of the rear subframe behind the front seats and it's called saddle tank because the shape of the tank kind of looks like a horse's saddle because it has to pass over top of the drive shaft. And why that matters is because saddle tanks um, can store fuel on both sides of the drive shaft or both sides of the car, the right hand and the left hand side. But commonly from the factory, the fuel pump itself is only installed in one side of the saddle. And then the question becomes, how do you draw fuel from the other side of the saddle uh, without just going around right hand turns or left hand turns really fast to make the fuel slosh over the hump in the middle? And the answer to that is a Venturi pump or a lift pump, or they've got a lot of different names, a lot of different things people call them. But um, if you remember as a child, or if you have a child, um, ever blowing air across the top of a straw that is in a drink, um, the passing air across the top of the straw will actually cause the fluid in the cup to lift up the straw. And you can actually like spray somebody with the water in your cup just by blowing across the straw. And what actually makes that occur it's called the Bernoulli principle um, but it's a fluid passing over the orifice creates suction and that's actually interestingly enough how airplanes determine how fast they're going if you ever look at the nose of an airplane you'll see a tube sticking out sideways perpendicular to um, the direction of travel and one pointing forward in the direction of travel and there's pressure transducers in the aircraft and they measure the pressure difference between those two tubes and it determines how fast the airplane's going since it doesn't have a wheel on the ground to say hey this is how fast I'm traveling so interesting tech tip for you but in any event that's how most automotive manufacturers actually draw fuel from one side of the tank to the other um, in a 300 ZX there's this little uh, part attached to the return side of the fuel um, so the fuel pump pumps fuel up to the engine bay and then fuel is excess fuel is returned to the tank because it's a factory return style system uh, the return fuel will actually uh, come down through this tube and if you look this tube meets it at 90 degrees the top side of this clips onto a tube inside the tank that passes over to the other side of the saddle. So as return fuel is coming from the engine, it creates that same Bernoulli principle of Venturi effect and sucks fuel from this side into the tank and deposits it in the driver's side saddle. Um, that's how you keep fuel in the driver's side and that's how um, you prevent starvation of fuel to the engine by draining down one side of the saddle tank. So why does this matter on this particular build? Well, this car is going to be a you know 700-ish horsepower engine uh, configuration with the LS swap in this car. And because of that, um, you're kind of getting on the edge of what you would want the factory fuel lines uh, to supply because the factory fuel lines in a 300ZX are only what's equivalent to a dash five or five sixteenths of an inch diameter. Um, you're kind of getting beyond the limit of what they can do. Um, so what we needed to do was upgrade the fuel lines and we went a little bit overkill. We went with a dash eight feed and a dash six return. But when you modify the factory sending unit to allow that size line to connect, um, you end up having to remove the factory tube that this would connect to. So now we need to fabricate a new tube. Um, what I'm actually going to do, we used 90 degree bulkhead fittings, uh, 1-8, 1-6 in the top of the sending unit. The dash eight is for the feed. We adapted that to the Walbro 450 liter per hour pump that we're putting in the tank. And then we have a dash six 90 degree on the return side for um, the return for the return fuel. So what I need to do now is actually on the lathe, turn down a tube that will connect to the bottom of that dash six return and then next down slightly to the correct size that will clip into this factory Venturi pump so that we can still pull fuel from the other side of the saddle. So a little tech video today, um, I'll overlay some video of that. Basically I'm gonna be using just some aluminum tubing and I will drill the ID to be the same size as the ID of the tube that we cut off the inside of the sending unit. The OD at the bottom will be um, the same size as what needs to clip into the Venturi pump. But then on the top side, I'm going to basically mimic the outside diameter of an AN hard line. Um, I'll machine a little flare into it and we'll use this AN tube nut 
to actually hold the tube onto the bottom of that bulkhead fitting. And that's how we'll make the connection on that side. So just uh, check out some of the video footage, a little quick one for you today. And I hope you enjoyed the little bit of tech that was in this video. Again, please like, subscribe, follow us both here on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Uh, we're at LOJ Conversions on all of them. And we will talk to you soon. All right, thanks.